turning now to uh, an investigation by the Toronto Police Hate Crimes Unit into a video that surfaced online of a mobile advertising truck that was displaying anti-Muslim Im images. For more, let's bring in the CBC's Thomas Degg, who's been uh, covering this, because, uh, Thomas, what, what have you learned about this truck? Well, for the past 48 hours, many people have been wondering who is behind the message uh, seen in that video uh, with uh, showing Muslims praying along with the message, uh, wake up Canada, we are under siege. Well, according to uh, public records that uh, we obtained uh, through the uh, Ministry of Transportation here in Ontario, that truck, the license plate on it is registered to Rebel News Network, uh, which is the uh, online media organization founded by political commentator Ezra Levant. Um, as soon as we reached out to Levant uh, this afternoon, uh, shortly after he posted online saying, yes, this is our truck belonging to Rebel News, but the message itself, they say, does not come from Rebel News. It was a third party advertiser, an anonymous grassroots organization is the way Levant explained this to me. They are the ones who paid for that message and put it on the side of that uh, truck belonging to Rebel News. But he himself is standing by this message and saying it is cancel culture that Toronto police are now getting involved. I spoke earlier with Barbara Perry at the Ontario Tech University Centre on Hate, Bias and Extremism. She has previously testified in court about Rebel News's brand of commentary. There is evidence in a number of their uh, their broadcasts, um, some of the, the correspondents, whether they're on staff or whether they're people they bring in, have a lengthy history uh, of narratives that are Islamophobic and, and anti-immigrant, for example. So, Thomas, there, there was quite a bit of reaction online when that video surfaced of this truck. What sort of reaction have you been seeing today? Well, Toronto police uh, have uh, only said that they are continuing their investigation. I asked them directly whether Rebel News is a focus of that, that investigation. They have not uh, said either way, but uh, Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow was the latest to speak out. She was asked about uh, that truck and the message on the side of it at an event uh, earlier today here in the city. Have a listen. Islamophobia has no place in this city. Neither does hate and divisiveness. So I've asked other levels of government to join me in condemning this very hateful message. And Toronto is much better than that. Local prominent uh, businessman Mohammed Faki earlier today uh, posted a message online saying he's offering up to $25,000 uh, for information leading to an arrest for anyone connected with uh, what he calls a hateful campaign. Uh, as for Levant, uh, the founder of Rebel News Network, the owner of that truck, he has uh, posted a message uh, asking for donations uh, after this uh, incident. Okay. Thomas, thanks so much for uh, your digging on this. That's the CBC's Thomas Day.